hear. We're going to hear from Trimmer Video, longtime partners of Media Post. Um, and uh, today, let's see here, we have beaming in, actually, beaming in from the from uh, from the, the far reaches of the universe. We have Terrence Group. Terrence is the VP of Insight and Analytics at Trimmer Video. Um, and I want to make sure Terrence is there. Are you there, sir? Yes, I am. All right. How are you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. Not the far reaches of the universe, just upstate New York. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're glad you're beaming in. We're glad you're here. I think you're going to be talking to us today about uh, consumer shopping behaviors. Is that correct? That is correct. What do you expect going into the holidays this year? Very good. Very good. Well, you look great. Uh, if you want to go ahead and pull up your presentation uh, deck, and we'll just make sure it, it displays properly, and we'll get you going. Cool. Um, and, we're, we're, and if you're in upstate New York, why couldn't you be here in Montauk? That's my question, but we'll That's get a to good that question. Later. You know, travel budgets. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. All right. Well, look, uh, Terrence, I won't take up any more of your time. Really looking forward to this and uh, take it away. Yeah. Well, hello, everybody else. Um, really excited to share today's presentation from Tremor Video, um, which we titled, It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like the Holidays. Um, so in today's presentation, uh, we'll showcase our latest results on how consumer behaviors and outlooks have shifted over the past year. And we'll be paying particular attention to impact on shopping, and travel habits as we enter into the 2021 holiday season as compared to last year. So let's take a look at the data. Um, as we think back to the holiday season in 2020, uh, we were collectively in a very different place than we are today. Um, we had not yet fully completed a, a year working from home um, or under other adjusted conditions. Uh, restaurants were still largely shuttered or offering only takeout options. We were only just beginning to understand if the first vaccines would be effective and accepted. Now in 2021, life has actually changed dramatically. And that shift in outlook and adaptability of US consumers is evident in the fact that nearly half of individuals surveyed report being more excited about the upcoming holiday season than they were last year. That number also increases in terms of excitement when we look at different age groups. And those consumers under the age of 45 are showing much higher levels of excitement, up in the range of 60% or so. And that excitement appears likely to translate into substantial consumer spending during the 2021 holiday season. Anywhere from 40 to 60% of consumers have stated that they plan to spend more this year on various product categories than they did during the 2020 holiday season. Overall, an average of 41% of respondents reported plans to spend more or maintain the same levels of spending from the 2020 holiday season. And some of the categories that we have noticed are seeing the biggest increases in intention to spend are notable. Um, the big increases in virtual experiences and charitable donations took them from the bottom of the list last year to the top of the list. And the other stalwart category that we have seen considerable attention and, and increased spending in really throughout COVID has been alcohol and spirits. But even as excitement levels recover to healthy levels, certain aspects of daily life are still influenced by the effects of COVID. And some of these behavioral changes are likely to last for the long term. One consumer behavior that has evolved dramatically since the onset of COVID is the reliance and even preference for online shopping and e-commerce. Looking at shopping plans for 2021 holiday season, shopping mostly or only online is the preference of a wide swath of consumers age 25 to 54 while solidly a third of all consumers intend to have a healthy balance of online and in-person shopping, a hybrid model, if you will. And the consumer groups most excited to get back into the brick and mortar stores are consumers over the age of 55, with 43% of that group reporting that shopping mostly or only in person is their preferred approach. Second behind them are the youngest consumers sampled, um, with 36% of consumers aged 18 to 24 saying that they are mostly going to shop only in person. And that shopping season is already in full swing. A third of consumers have told us that they are already in the midst of their holiday shopping in the month of October. And another half of consumers are about to get their shopping underway next month in November. Black Friday and Cyber Monday continue to be incredibly popular with a quarter of consumers planning to do the bulk of their shopping during that small window. And then in terms of what will be driving consumer decisions making going into the holiday season are competitive pricing, ease of shopping, 
and customer service. These are taking the top slots with over 90% of respondents identifying these three factors as holding the most weight when it comes to where they will do their shopping and what they will be buying. Looking at our results from last year, year over year, we also observed some increases in importance for factors like products that, and brands that are sustainable, um, supporting independent and local stores, as well as minority owned and managed establishments and brands, all seeing an increase from 2020. And looking more broadly at where consumer mindsets sit going into the year 2022, we find that 54% of adults uh, overall are feeling very or somewhat optimistic with another 27% reporting a general neutral outlook. 54% uh, uh, optimism rather is in line with the percentage we observed in our 2020 holiday survey, but we also recorded a notable drop in the percentage of consumers reporting a pessimistic outlook. Of course, similar to the holiday outlook, we see some significant divides in opinion when we break the data down by age groups. Roughly 60% of consumers aged 18 to 44 report feeling very or somewhat optimistic, while consumers 55 plus are lagging slightly behind. Another lifestyle area where we are seeing major changes compared to 2020 is consumers' willingness to get back out there and travel again. More than half of our respondents indicated that they intended to travel during the holiday season, with domestic travel outside of an individual's state of residence seeing the biggest boost, increasing from 15% in 2020 to 24% this year. And when consumers are traveling, they will most commonly be look, looking to book hotel rooms. Our data revealed that young, the, our youngest consumers, age 18 to 24, were more likely to book a rented property like an Airbnb or a VRBO, or even an RV and camper for their travels, while consumers 55 plus were much more likely to report plans to stay with family and friends. And moving into Q4, with cooler weather driving people indoors, we expect to see media consumption increase for the majority of consumers. And this is another territory where we are beginning to see notable shifts in consumer behavior solidify. Based upon our data, paid streaming has moved ahead of live TV in terms of consumers increasing their time spend and free and streaming options are very close behind them in terms of popularity and increases. We've been observing this shift towards streaming over broadcast build steam for several years now and the impact of COVID undoubtedly hastened this trend. Another media type that has seen healthy growth in recent months is actually podcasts, with more than a quarter of consumers telling us that they intend to increase their consumption of that medium in the coming months. And these shifts in media activity and preference also have a very important bearing on decisions made during the holiday season. After searching online and in-person or online browsing, TV advertisements and online video ads were reported as very or somewhat influential by over half of all respondents. And finally, where are consumers spending their time when they are taking part in their new streaming habits? Well, there's certainly been several high profile entrants into the streaming market during the past two years. And now that the, the dust has begun to settle, so we should say, it's interesting to see where consumers have landed. Right alongside the highly promoted services of Peacock and Paramount Plus, we're seeing popular ad-supported streaming services like Tubi and Pluto commanding just as many eyeballs, making them the perfect location to promote your holiday campaigns. So to rehash, here are some of the major takeaways we want you to think about walking away from today's event. First, there's a lot for retailers to be excited about. 91% of respondents reported plans to spend more or maintain their spending levels from the 2020 holiday season. And we're already in the thick of the shopping season with over a third of consumers telling us that they are purchasing gifts in October or already have earlier than that. Second, where that shopping experience is occurring has also seen some significant changes over the past two years. With vaccination rates at higher levels, older consumers, 55 plus, are nostalgic for in-person shopping experiences and will choose storefront shopping versus online shopping this holiday season. While younger consumers are likely to shop with a hybrid in-person and online approach. And we also expect for travel activity to pick up compared to last year with over 50% of consumers reporting to us that they will travel for the holiday season and over 60% are planning to do so using their own cars. 
So thank you so much uh, for listening to our latest findings on the market. I hope you found this presentation and these stats to be informative. Um, and we at Tremor wish you all a wonderful holiday season in the near future. Um, and please reach out with any inquiries um, about anything that you saw here or anything else that we can help you learn in regards to the CTV market. Thanks.